Hey guys, Dundi E here and I'm back with my full 30 day review or you could call it a long term review of the Blackberry Key 2. Now initially I did a video on the top 5 features and this video will cover those features and also how I've used this device for 30 days. So let's start off with what we have with the BlackBerry Key 2 in terms of design. This is a really well-built um, smartphone. I like the improvements from last year's Key 1. I think it's less bulky, uh, much easier to handle and hold. And I like the, uh, the separation of the display and the physical keyboard. Yes, it has a physical keyboard. Now, in one of my top five features, I said this is a uh, improved keyboard. And yes, while it's improved, I am terrible at using this keyboard. Um, I've got much bigger fingers, so it's been really hard for me to adapt to use this keyboard. As you can see me clearly typing on here. The one benefit of the keyboard, it does have that swipe up functionality. So while you're typing, it gives you suggestions. You can actually swipe up there. Again, like, as you can see, I'm terrible. So don't use me as an indication of the keyboard. I think Mr. Mobile is probably the best person to use here for that if you like other physical keyboard. But I will say though, I have at least gotten used to the idea of having the keyboard here. It's not a negative for me, it's just the fact that I can't use it well. I, I just can't go back to that uh, physical keyboard uh, setup. Now, the display is quite good. Uh, I like the vibrant look of the display. It's a 1080p display in general, but it's still pretty solid. It's powered by the Snapdragon 660 processor. And I have to say though, it's been snappy. Uh, for what you're using the BlackBerry Key 2 for, this is not a gaming powerhouse. This thing does really well in just overall performance. So I, I, in that aspect, it's been pretty good. Now, the one thing going back to the keyboard that I do like is the speed key. Now, the speed key allows you to remap all, so you can you can map all your keys as shortcuts, uh, giving you a shortcut for every single alphabet. Uh, but with the speed key, you no longer have to go back to the home screen. You can just hop from app to app to app to app to app, or whatever function you have. You can map a contact, an application, a function right to the key, and you all you have to do is hold down the speed key and basically click your way through. Works pretty well, it's pretty nice. I like that aspect about it. I think that's also really solid. Now, BlackBerry has talked about uh, security features for the longest time. That's one of the biggest pulls, pulls with this device because BlackBerry has been known for security with their smartphones and they have a bunch of security options in here. Of course, there's Deck by BlackBerry, which is basically, which basically allows you to go in and, you know, check your security status of your device. Now, a lot of devices can't do this. Now, I did say this is one of the best features in any smartphone, and no smartphone has this. People, of course, reminded me that, yes, you can do this on all the Android devices, but I think the level of control here is just much higher and much more effective. Looking at your app permissions, also the security updates and patch levels um, that you have for this device and devices out there, which is pretty nice. Um, so those are the kind of things that I think it does really well, and also limiting the function quite clearly through an app. I think having the app there in front rather than going through your settings to me is just much more sensible, especially if you're concerned about your security and what kind of information is gathered from your devices. So I think that is actually pretty, pretty cool. The other thing, of course, is the locker feature. Now, uh, we do have, of course, secret folders and lockers with different devices. You can download applications that can do that for you on Android. But I think uh, this is done well here with how you can go to the locker itself and you can unlock it with your fingerprint, you can add in applications. So for instance, I added in Instagram, and once, even though Instagram's in the locker and you see it on the home screen, you cannot open up Instagram unless you, of course, use a password or the uh, fingerprint sensor, which is nice. So I like that feature, I like that there. There's also the Firefox Focus Browser, a great browser, it doesn't store any of your history on there, and I think it's, uh, it's a nice addition. It's not made by them, but they, I like the fact that they added that, especially looking at the security-minded consumer. So what else can this device do? We know it's got a physical keyboard. We know that it's got some really good security features. Uh, and we know we've got, of course, that whole BlackBerry suite of applications. Uh, you've got a 3,500 milliamp battery. And I have to say battery management has been pretty good. Uh, the Q1 last year had a really good battery life. This is also the same. I would say clearly you can do 24 hours with this device. Fine. 
no problems. You could probably push it more, but for me, that was what I was generally seeing with my use case while I used this device. Now, the fingerprint sensor is located, of course, on the space bar, which, you know, it's an ingenious uh, location. I think it works well. It's a little bit slow and touchy sometimes, I've noticed. So sometimes you do have to necessarily click all the way in and place your finger correctly. So hopefully they can fix that. Maybe it's a software thing or maybe it's just something that needs to be fixed down the line with a future device. Now you've got a dual camera set up at the back and the images of the camera are solid. Uh, I would say it gives you some really good images during daytime. Nighttime is a mixed bag. There's some situations where the images I had didn't look as stellar and the other situations where, for instance, with the room that had all the arcades, the colors and lightings came out very well. But I think you will get some really solid pictures off this device. Now, some people will poo-poo and say, well, hey, um, you know, how come the, the camera is not that great? I say it's a solid camera. Um, I say this is not what BlackBerry was focusing on this device, but I think they give you an offering here that makes sense for the kind of users that will use this device. Now it uses a USB Type-C port uh, for, of course, charging. Uh, you do have, of course, micro SD expansion, uh, and it's just got that very simple, straightforward feel to it. I think there's a lot to like about this device, and I think maybe the limitations you would get, of course, are the physical keyboard. So that is something um, you know you would have to take note. Now you can go ahead and um, you know uh, try and use an on-screen keyboard if possible, but the physical keyboard is something that might take people away from this device. That being said, though, I do like the BlackBerry uh, Key 2. I think it's really solid. You've got really good battery life. You've got security features. If you're looking for those things and you also like that nostalgia factor with the physical keyboard, then this is the device you definitely pick up, especially with its price point and what it delivers. So like I said, I can't really use the keyboard well on this device, but it's been fun using it and I like all the features that they've brought in with the Key 2. So uh, there you have it, guys. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment. Thank you.